How you guys doing? Thank you for joining me. Welcome back to Ravens Nest. So the Baltimore Ravens have just promoted linebackers coach Don Martindale to the defensive coordinator. Oh, man, man, Ravens, they mess it up again. They really mess it up again. You say, who's Don Martindale? Well, yes, he was the linebackers coach for the Baltimore Ravens since 2012. Got a ring with us, so that is definitely good. But there were rumors about Ravens possibly getting Chuck Pagano. I guess he was not interested in the job because clearly that would have been the best choice. But you say it's good to promote from within. Well, I guess so. But when you go eight and eight, it's not good to promote from within. We know Dean P's retired. So, you know, he was out the door and clearly he was a good football head coach. He knew a lot about the game, the ins and the outs, the X's and the O's. But he didn't really put his men in the right position at certain times when the game really came down to the end. Like how we talked about against Cincinnati on that fourth and twelve play, you don't blitz. Well, you don't make it. You don't give a disguise in that situation. You don't fake like you're gonna blitz and then drop your guys back. You gotta play prevent defense in that situation. So the Ravens promote Don Martindale. And one fact about him is that he has actually been a defensive coordinator in this NFL before. He was the defensive coordinator in 2010 for the Denver Broncos when they had the worst defense in football that season. It took me a little while to get this video up because I wanted to look that up and make sure, and it is a fact, that he led the worst defense. They got rid of him after one year, and then the next year, the whole defense turned it around. Remember, that was in 2011 when Tim Tebow was the quarterback, and the defense really led the charge and really led him all the way past the Steelers. That was fun to see. And then into New England where they eventually lost. But Don Martindale, I mean, th this is not this is not good. Th this is not a good hire. Not not a good hire at all. I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be straight up and say that's it's not a good hire. The Baltimore Ravens can definitely do better than this, especially with a lot of guys on the market. You think about Chuck Pagano, he was on the market, like we said. Uh, Rex Ryan could have even been a possible candidate as well. There were also other guys. I can't quite remember all their names at the moment. But I'm sure that there were other guys. There were, if, if you remember some of the defensive coordinators that were on the market, just please put it in the comments below. Because we definitely had a lot of options this year. But we really failed. And we didn't, we're not going to get any of those guys. Don Martindale, just a linebacker's coach. Yes, he made C.J. Mosley into a decent linebacker. Yes, he coached Ray Lewis in his final season. Yes, he might have had Zachary Orr and led him to be a pretty good linebacker and also Peanut as well, number 48 on the defense. So he might have done those things, but at the same time, how can you promote a guy that was on the defense that was going downhill this year and the main issue on our defense was the linebacker position? We had a lot of trouble against tight ends, most notably against the Bengals. Croft caught two touchdowns against us. Like I've said before, we were 31st against... Tight ends in the passing game. That's not going to get it done. Even his linebacker core has had question marks. Yes, Mosley made another Pro Bowl. Give him a lot of credit. But I feel as if Mosley never has taken... There's just something about it. He hasn't taken the next step to be an, a cover linebacker against the top teams. Like, you know, against Pittsburgh, New England. So, it is what it is. The Ravens, we know they're going to be settled for mediocrity. So, I'm not really shocked. You know, like I said before, you know, you either choose Harbaugh and you keep mediocrity or you get rid of him and you risk being bad, but you have a possibility of being great. So it's like a high risk, high reward type of thing. But they kept Harbaugh and we're just going to be mediocrity again. <laughs> that's just, just, that's what it is in Baltimore now. So we might as well just put a smile on our face and just be like, hey, listen, if we go eight and eight, that's a winning season in Baltimore. That's what it's come to. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. You guys have a good Baltimore Raven day.